Hello. We're the Coraline and Vent team from Dublin, California. And our device will solve the problem of players being unable to hear the ref whistle by alerting a deaf basketball player through other senses when the play has ended. Since our goal is to improve the reaction time, the first thing we did was figure out what the reaction time was in a regular game. The average time was found to be two to three seconds, so this set a quantitative goal for us to beat, and we added this information to our invention statement. So pretty much, our device has three main aspects that we're currently working to develop. And throughout September and November, we've been gathering data and writing experiments for these categories. Here's where we're at. So for haptic versus visual, um, we wanted to determine whether the player will be signaled through a vibration or with a light. And considering social distancing, we have to conduct these physical experiments individually. <clears throat> so in preparation, we have been stimulating um, circuits virtually through Tinkercad, and we wrote experiment procedures for members to follow individually. So here are some examples of circuit simulations. So here's one simulation for haptic testing, and we used a potentiometer to control the vibration pattern. And here's one simulation for visual. Here, the buttons on the remote control which color LED lights up. For practical application, we want to decide how the device will actually follow the rules of the rule books and where it can be worn on the player during the game so that it won't interfere. We've mostly been looking through the NFHS rulebook, which is what most high schools use, and from this we've determined a few potential locations. For the most part, the rulebook authorizes special exceptions for uh, unique cases and also there's this thing called the American with, Americans with Disabilities Act, and that can overwrite some rules too. So for electronics and construction, we've been looking into methods of wirelessly transmitting info. So we're mostly open to suggestions, but there are some preferences and criteria. Again, the purpose of all this research in these categories is ultimately to shape the device itself and all of its details. So we hope to already be distributing testable components by the mid-grant review in February. Thank you. Wait, before you go, for more info, resources, and project updates, check out our website.